Hey guys, Live Hayes here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to run your Xbox Live connection through your laptop and so you can get Xbox Live without having to buy that expensive um, wireless network adapter. Either the new one or the old one, doesn't matter. But um, here's how you can do it for a lot cheaper. You need to have a laptop, Mac or PC, does not matter. Today I'm doing the Mac tutorial. Um, it needs to be connected through your Wi-Fi. kind of blurry but I have three bars so through your Wi-Fi straight to your modem or your router whatever and then you need to have one Ethernet cord and an Xbox 360 alright so first you're gonna wanna make sure that your Ethernet cable on your Xbox 360 is unplugged unplugged and make sure your system is off alright now from your Mac you're gonna wanna go to system preferences click on sharing and then go to internet sharing and from here you want to make sure you're sharing your connection from your airport to your ethernet so this will be unchecked for you guys but check ethernet and then click uh, click on the box to check it and it will ask if you want to start it and you just press start and there you go so you're on and ready to share close that make sure your ethernet's plugged in from your laptop all the way to your Xbox. You can plug your Xbox in now. Plug the Ethernet in. There we go. Alright, power your Xbox on. And you're going to have to run custom settings on your Xbox to make sure that it shares correctly. Alright, um, you're going to need to copy my settings exactly. Um, all your settings are going to need to be manual. So go all the way to system settings. Go to network settings. And then click on configure network. Alright, for your IP settings, you're going to have the, you're going to need these exact settings. This is for your IP. It is going to need to be 192.168. Point two, point two. Your subnet mask is going to need to be 255.255.255.0 and your gateway is going to need to be 192.168.2.1 So that's for your um, IP. You can pause my video just to check it out and make sure it works. Alright, now for your DNS which is under your IP. Click on manual and then your primary DNS server is going to need to be 68.105.28.11 and your secondary DNS server is going to need to be 68.105.29.11 and those are the only settings that you need, make sure those are both on manual still and that your settings saved alright now back out you don't need to do anything else just make sure those settings are in there and you're going to need to restart your console so that those settings can save so go ahead and do that. All right. The only downside of doing this is your laptop needs to be on and connected through your airport for you to play on Xbox Live, but it is definitely a plus to save some money. Alright, um, your settings should already be on there, so pick your profile to sign in. Oh, the first time may take a while. Alright, there you go. You're now connected to Xbox Live from your ethernet connecting to your laptop connecting to your router or modem so that is how you do it um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you if you have any questions feel free to comment on this video 
Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe because there'll be more tutorials, gameplay, anything, montages coming out soon. So um, get ready for that, and I'll see you guys later.